Do you want to go in the car? Want to go in the car? Get your hair cut? Before. gave her a Valentine's Day bow. Peter's finishing up work. Is it as Monday of a Monday as your Mondays have been lately? Mm. Yes and no. The baby stars. Yes and no. It's a better Monday, but it's still a Monday. Hey, handsome boy. We gonna cook some dinner? Still waking up a little bit? Yeah. Agu. Thank you. Okay, it's time to cook dinner. I have two sous chefs with me today. One's name is James, one's name is Eve. And we are making some coconut curry veggies over rice. Got one full red onion, going with some minced garlic, salt, and pepper until translucent. And just getting the water ready for the rice. Okay, I added like two tablespoons of curry powder and garlic powder and that's gonna cook for a little bit until you can smell it and the rice is cooking it's just gonna be plain um, oh I actually need to throw some oil in there because that helps it like be fluffy and also not stick and just have a little extra oomph to it you could add butter now I'm gonna add in a big can of crushed tomatoes or you could like a jar of marinara sauce and then I just added couple of cups of veggie stock and some crushed red pepper and I'm going to bring this to not necessarily a boil but just just get it bubbling a bit okay I'm going to add a full head of cauliflower chopped up and then just cook it until it gets like softer I just did a little taste test now I'm going to spunk it up a bit with some paprika a little bit of cayenne more red pepper flakes and more curry powder. So while the cauliflower cooked, I mixed together some romaine lettuce and spinach and tomatoes with the Mediterranean salad dressing that I got yesterday. And now I'm soaking these radishes in the juice from the banana peppers. This will go on the salad. Um, I just wanna get the radishes a little bit um, easier to eat. Radishes are good on their own, but they do have a little bit of bitterness to them and they soak up vinegar nice. So that will top the salad. The rice is done, and now I'm gonna add the last ingredients to the curry. I turned down the heat a bit. I'm gonna add in one can of drained and rinsed chickpeas, and then one can of coconut milk. Even better if you can find one that's a little chunkier than that, but that was still nice and creamy. We read James a book called The Perfect Day from the World of Brave. So we're watching Brave now. Here's Sarah's deliciously made dinner. Can't wait. Yeah, it's got veggies and protein and nice. um, carbs and all deliciousness. And we just got a very cool email. We got approved for our apartment. So after dinner, we're gonna put in our admin fee that takes off the market. Yes. Oh my gosh. And then we can just like soak in the rest of our time here. There's of course like like packing and things like that we have to do but that was like the biggest task yeah now it all comes to planning Celebratory sweets, cake slices, 
Okay. Oh, I like how good about them. Eclairs. I love eclairs. This, this looks so good. Okay, Aaron McKenna didn't have coffee, so I'm gonna run over to Joffrey's and grab a cup of joe. Can't have a pastry from Aaron McKenna's without a delicious warm cup of caffeine. I think before we leave, I think I should buy one of each of these. All the Disney flavors. I'm gonna get a Joffrey's subscription. So we got Aaron McKenna. Oh, Sarah showed it. I did too, we got them. Oh, you gotta show it. What did you guys get? I got. I got a chocolate chip cookie. cookie. Nice. And I got the Cookie Monster cupcake. Sorry. I was gonna get that. You got Wait. the Cookie Monster. Donut. I got a Cookie Monster cookie. It looks yeah, so good. Donut. <laughs> cookie Monster donut. And I got a skull. And Disney Springs. Yeah, Disney Springs. And Disney Springs. Pretty much yeah. empty. Yeah, right? That's so nice. Look at this. Luckily, that's a smokers area over there, but nobody's there, so it's peaceful. Beautiful. Serene. Magical. Look at this beauty of a site. How long have we been sitting here, my friends? Like seven hours? <laughs> you know. A lot happened while they were gone, and we had to catch up and discuss. But now it's after time we have to go. on his own like he's a big where kid it wasn't now. like he was being nursed or being rocked even it's 10 30. guess who has to work tonight i am pretty tied tied down here look at all this stuff got evie um it's past 1 a.m peter has been working I am working on our holiday cards, um, and we just watched Hunchback of Notre Dame. Um, probably gonna put on another Disney movie, and hopefully stop working soon and go to bed. Um, but to end the vlog on an uh, exciting note, I am going to insert some photos of our new apartment here. We're really excited about the living room and the big window in the front. Um, the kitchen is cool and kind of off the back. We're so used to having the kitchen next to the living room. So that'll be a lot of fun. It'll give you guys a little better idea of where we are going to live. You ever have one of those days where you just can't seem to get ahead of work? Well, that's the time and I didn't even get everything I wanted to get done. Well, we are back up to the mystery calendar. Today is January 11th, but the message of the day is by Sir Francis Bacon. Begin, de begin doing what you want to do now. We are not living in eternity. We have only this moment, sparkling like a star in our hand and melting like a snowflake. I dig it. We can and will say we're very excited because we know Chicago. We're Chicagoans, you know? But this apartment is literally in the same neighborhood that we lived in when we first got married. Yeah. So it's the East Boys Lake Town, View, East Boys Lake Town. View mm -hmm. neighborhood. Pretty um, close to Wrigley. Just a few blocks south east of Wrigley, a few blocks away from the lake. Yeah, it's gonna be It's gonna end a lot of very dog friendly. Yeah. We didn't have Eve when we lived up there last time. Yeah. Also, when we lived up there last time, Peter was working full time and going to school full time. Working overnight. And working overnight. So even though we lived up there, we didn't really get to experience it. Like yeah. a few of the restaurants in the area are amazing. I think we only went to like each one like maybe once of only like three or four of them. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be a game changer. We're going to be out every single night mm -hmm. and all weekend. Yeah, we're excited. It, like really finally fully exploring the city, not as students, not as young adult, like 
like high school or college adults, but like functioning <laughs> societal adults. As a family. As a family, Pretty yeah. Cool. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.